Welcome to the Bini channel. In this video, I will briefly explain the Regularized Greedy Forest, RGF. This video aims to provide you a basic understanding of RGF, its applications, and its simple implementation in Python. However, I encourage you to refer to the original research paper and the reference in the video description for more detailed information. Nowadays, deep learning models, especially generative AI, have demonstrated great success across various domains, including images, audio, and text. We have large language models such as GPT and Llama, as well as image generative AI such as Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. For example, we can generate the Llama image at the top by AI. The images at the bottom refer to the Stable Diffusion 3 research paper. Moreover, I am even now talking to you with my AI cloning voice too. We can see that the generative AI storm is going on. However, tabular data is another common data type in real-world applications. Like a spreadsheet or database table, each row represents an individual record, and each column represents a feature or variable. We also have a target column in which we use the features to make predictions. Tabular data is used in many practical applications. For example, we can use features such as house age, income, longitude, and latitude to predict the house price. In recent years, researchers have shown that tree-based machine learning models such as Light GBM and XG Boost, or more generally, gradient boosting models still dominate tabular data modeling and show superior performance over deep learning models in general. We can also see that the XG Boost paper has more than 7,000 citations in the first eight months of 2024. Let's recall the fundamental component of the tree-based model, the decision tree. Imagine a decision tree as a flowchart that helps you make decisions. Let's say you want to predict the house price. You might check different feature values with a threshold. Is the sample with a house age smaller than 30? If yes, how about if the income is smaller than 7? If yes, 2, then the house price prediction is 3 million. This is essentially how a decision tree works. It makes predictions by checking the path of feature values. However, only one decision tree is not reliable. Gradient boosting is an ensemble learning method that sequentially trains a series of weak decision trees. Each new tree is trained to correct the residual of the previous models. Gradient boosting trains a new tree to predict the residual between the actual target value and the last predictions. After the new tree is built, the new prediction is a weighted sum of the predictions from two individual models with a learning rate. Then, gradient boosting repeats the process and builds another tree to predict the residual error between the actual value and the last weighted predictions. Finally, gradient boosting stops building trees until criteria such as the maximum number of trees are met. The final prediction is a weighted sum of the predictions from all the individual models. We can then jump into XG Boost, Extreme Gradient Boosting, a variant of the gradient boosting framework. As you may have heard from many other videos, one of the core components of XG Boost is the regularized loss function. It is also worth mentioning that the original XG Boost paper stated the similar regularization technique has been used in regularized greedy forest. By incorporating regularization techniques, XG Boost effectively prevents overfitting and enhances the model's ability to generalize well to unseen data. This strategic regularization approach is one of the key factors that sets XGBoost apart from traditional boosting algorithms. Furthermore, XGBoost also supports the approximate algorithm to split the possible points by quantiles to fasten the training. The sparsity-aware split finding helps deal with the feature's missing values. Let's talk about regularized greedy forest. RGF. It was introduced earlier than XGBoost. RGF has two main components. First, unlike gradient boosting, which builds the trees one by one sequentially, RGF builds the forest considering its current structure. When the weights of the existing leaf nodes are fixed, RGF performs the optimum structure change. In the figure as an example, we can split an existing leaf node in T2, or start a new tree as T3, ensuring that the regularized loss function is reduced as much as possible. 
As mentioned before, RGF has also considered the regularized loss function to avoid overfitting. Intuitively, the optimum weight in the leaf of XG boost is similar to the optimum weight in the leaf of RGF, which considers the difference between the actual target and the prediction from the previous trees with a term controlling the regularization. You may refer to the second reference in the description for more details. Moreover, RGF optimizes the leaf weight for the entire forest after the forest structure is fixed. This fully corrective update is the second main component of RGF. Suppose the forest structure is fixed. The leaf weights for the forest or previous leaves are then updated to minimize the regularized loss function. RGF learns a decision forest by repeatedly performing these steps for optimum structure change and weights until an exit criterion, such as the maximum number of leaves, is met. One application of RGF is energy load forecasting. We can predict hourly load forecasting using input features such as the lagged load, calendar, and weather variables. The second reference in the description compared the performance of the tree-based models such as X, G, Boost, and deep learning models such as transformer-based model. The experiments showed that the RGF showed a good performance. In addition, the study also proposes a weighted combination of RGFXG boost and light GBM to form an ensemble model with Bayesian optimization techniques. Then we can demonstrate the RGF on regression problem in Python. It is easy, just similar to use other machine learning library like XGBoost and light GBM. You can run the Python code in Visual Studio, Jupyter Notebook, Google Colab as well. The part of green dashed line is the Python code you need to input. The part of blue dashed line is optional to try other hyperparameters, and the part of orange solid line is the results obtained after running the Python code. First of all, we need to install the RGF library. We only need to install once. You can also refer the original GitHub in the description. Then we need to import the necessary library and the data set. We use the house price example, which is a standard data set containing more than 20,000 samples with eight features. You may also import other tabular data in Excel or CSV format as well. Then we split the data set into training and testing data set. Next, we train the RGF regressor and make prediction. Finally, we can evaluate the model by mean squared error. Same as other machine learning algorithm, the hyperparameter tuning is very important to improve the performance. We skip this step in this short introduction video. We can see that the performance can be improved with a lower mean squared error if we select other hyperparameters such as maximum number of leaves. Finally, you may ask when to use XGBoost or RGF in a problem. There is no universal machine learning model for all problems. We should simply try both in our experiment. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.